Hello YouTube, it is Gopernopper back again. Um, don't have my iPod with me for the outro, so that's too bad. Anyways, today I will be doing the first installment in my camera collection series. And first off, this is my newest edition. Uh, it is a Polaroid camera. And I'm going to open it up and show you guys. So if I can just spin this around to the latch mechanism, I gotta flip it over. Okay. And if I open this up, there you go. Move the camera up a little bit so you can see it all. Okay. And here's the camera. A Polaroid 900 electric eye land camera. So here's the back. This switch releases the film so you can pull it out. Here's the cutter bar. And on the front of the camera, on the side right here, these are the two latch releases. There you go this little tab right here on the front flips down and hang on I'm gonna move the case out of the way there it stands itself up okay now this camera is from the 1950s and 60s to take a picture with it you press this bar down and then press this little tab in that takes a picture of this little bar right here. And this little wheel down here, it sets the focus on top. This is mode selection. There is normal, day, night. So now if I turn it around here, you can see there is abbreviated instructions. Now, to close it up, this bar, this little red bar right here, you press down, and that unlatches the camera. Okay. Now, if you want to open up the camera, there's a tab right here. Flip it down, and then I'm going to set this down. Zoom in on it. Now I can just, hang on, yep, this tab right here, flip down, now I can just unfold the back of the camera here, I'm going to zoom out now. This used old Polaroid roll film, you put it in here, I don't really know how to load it all that well, but yeah, so take a picture, what you do is sorry about that, um, to take a picture what you do is obviously open it up I'm going to set it down then push this down. Now you set the lens to subject distance using this wheel right here. Then you set the mode. In this case I'd set it to normal. Indoors. Then I would compose the picture through the viewfinder right here. So I'm going to turn the camera around now. The viewfinder is this little box right up here. Let's see if I can actually get it so that you can see it through the camera. I'm going to flip it over real quick. This camera is very large and heavy. Okay, hang on. Yep, there. That little box right there is the part of the viewfinder. Yeah, and then you 
very slowly press this button and there you go you have your picture then after that you would lift the cutter bar pull the tab close the cutter bar rip off the excess paper sorry then you throw this um, switch open it up and pull out your finished print now on to the accessories over here in the case as you can see we have a Polaroid wink light this accessory clips into the camera right here then also back in the case up there we have the auxiliary flasher and I put um, a flash bulb in there just for show this used AG1 flash bulbs and here's the ejector here's the flash bulb little AG1 peanut bulbs um, take it and put it in there and then the auxiliary flasher goes right here on the wink light so you'll have a huge flash mechanism on this camera and I'm gonna stand it up just so you can take a look at how beautiful it is now in the case we have in this little bag pocket on the side here Sylvania AG1 flash bulbs blue dot and my camera is actually detecting the face on the box that's kinda of funny um, these here are mint in the box so if I open this up take a look and I pull this out like I said mint never been used those are the AG1 flash bulbs on this little blue tube you just slide them right off the end I'm really trying not to disturb these too much so I bet later when nobody even knows what Polaroid is these will fetch a pretty penny well I guess that's really all there is to show about this Polaroid 900 electric eye camera I also have some papers like here's the instruction manual but anyways yeah that's pretty much all there really is to show and like I said you won't be hearing my outro this time cuz I forgot my iPod and yeah thank you guys for watching I will make other videos on some of my other cameras too like my other Polaroids I might I don't know maybe probably yeah but anyways thank you for watching uh, please rate comment and subscribe now before I go I'm gonna show you guys how to put this all back into the whoa tripod came loose but all, I'm gonna show you guys all how to put this back into the case so move the camera set the camera down and then pull the case back over okay so, uh, um, gotta loosen the tripod and then move it up perfect now take the wink light set it down there next you take the auxiliary flasher and this goes up in there. Next, you take your nice mint inbox Sylvania AG1 flash bulbs and you put those in this little bag down here. The papers, I know I hadn't put them there the first time, but since this is going to be a formal video, I'm going to put them where they're actually supposed to go. They go back behind here. You know what? I can't really put them there too well. Next, of course, you take the camera. Unlatch it. Slide it down in. 
close her up. There. Now check the lid. I encourage you all to start your own camera collections as it is very fun and the cameras aren't really that expensive. Why? Because I made so many of them. And one last word before I go is that this camera back in the 1950s and 60s would have cost you $200 to buy. Next, close the latch. And that is it. Oh, and on the case, there's some gold lettering that says Polaroid. Well, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I encourage you to start your own camera collection. Also, check out my cousin's channel, Fill Up Classic Companions. I think it is. Yeah, Classic Companions. Thank you for watching. Check out some of my other videos as well. See you next time.